there and welcome back to the You Need an Amber YouTube channel. My name is Amber and we are right in the middle of our 31 days of YouTube challenge. Every day. I'm posting every day on YouTube in the month of May. It's a lot, but it's really fun and I'm glad that you are here. Today, I want to talk about how you can network network your business without, without social media. Hmm? Is it real? Is it a real thing? Is my hair dumb? Maybe. Yes, it is a real thing. You can absolutely grow your business, grow your network, make friends, make connections, business partners without social media. And I'm going to tell you how. But before I do, let me preface with Social media can be hugely valuable to your business. Hugely valuable. I do not want to underestimate social media. That's not the point of this video. But I know that not everyone is super super comfortable on social media. Not everyone wants to spend the time getting into the Facebook groups. And I get that. So that's what this video is about. What if you don't want to be the person in social media all the time? Then what do you do? That's what we're talking about today. So these are the three ways that you can network without social media. Number one, take a course. Now, I know what you're thinking, Amber, I'm only going to meet people if I take a course in the Facebook group that the course creator set up. Maybe, but maybe not. I just uh, went through the director of operations certification course. And yes, there was a Facebook group that went along with it, but seeing everyone on the weekly calls was a really great way to get to know people. Really great. People were commenting in the chat. People were holding their babies. People's pets would walk by. You know, we would make comments to each other. We've started a Voxer group, right? There's tons of ways that we have connected that are not in the Facebook group all from being in the same industry and taking the same course. So not only do you get to learn potentially a new skill or get better at something that you're already doing, but you can have a huge networking opportunity through courses. So highly recommend if you are on the fence about taking a course that will improve your business, also think about the ways that you can network within that course to either find a client, find a partner, find a business bestie. There's so many opportunities. Do not discount the power of courses as a networking tool. Number two, the second way to network without social media is to join a co-working space. I've been going to co-working spaces since 2011, maybe? For a long time. Co-working spaces have been a part of my life for a long time. I even worked at a co-working space for three years. So they have a really special place in my heart. But co-working is such a great place to network that does not involve social media because you're, you know, like seeing people face to face, meeting, meeting some other humans. But co-working spaces are so great because you're probably going to be surrounded by people who are not in your industry at all, at all. So when I go to my co-working space, I'm surrounded by website designers and marketing agencies and an independent bookstore and um, logo designers and um, coaches. And I'm just like trying to think of the Rolodex. You know, like there's so many people at the co-working space on a regular basis at the co-working space for programming or events, at the co-working space for tours, at the co-working space for classes that they put on. So many people filter in and out of those spaces that you have the opportunity to network every time, every time. So just think about the ways that co-working can benefit you. You get to get out of the house, you get to meet people, you have a professional office, you know, you put on real clothes and <laughs> act like you're, you know, like a real adult. Co-working spaces are all of those things, but they're a huge networking opportunity that that you really need to think about as a part of your business expenses and your business investment 
because it's not just a place to go work. It's not just an office. It's also a huge networking opportunity. The third way to network without social media is to go to an in-person event. Now you're thinking, Amber, I haven't put on real pants in two years. And I get it. I really get it. I went to my first in-person event in March, 2022, I think. And it was so um, bucket filling for me. It just like, now I'm an extrovert, but it just, it just felt so good to be out in the world with other people and other business owners and other people who care about their community. Um, it was just really, it was really wonderful. And I highly recommend if you feel safe to go, to go back to in-person events, to really consider spending the time to attend some events because you'll meet new people. You'll get out of the house. You'll get to put on all of the cute clothes that you own that you never get to wear. Um, but you'll also meet people. You will also build your network. You will also give out and receive business cards. You will also follow up the next day with all of those business cards, right? Like huge networking opportunity in in in-person events um, that doesn't have anything to do with social media. Huge networking. Okay, so let me recap for you. Three ways to network outside of social media are by taking a course, joining a co-working space, or even attending events at a co-working space, and then going to in-person events. You can absolutely network in a way that works for you. And if social media is not the place for you, there are still lots of options. So I hope that this has been really helpful to inspire you to think of ways to network that are not through your phone um, so that you get out and meet real people, have real conversations, and make some genuine connections. Thank you so much for stopping by my YouTube channel today. Would you go ahead and hit that red subscribe button? You see it? It's red. It says subscribe. That will help you stay informed every time I make a new video, which is every day here in the month of May. And if you click that bell, then you'll get notified every time a new video is live also. So thank you so much for stopping by and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.